everybody! Welcome to Naughty Yarnies. My name is Barb. Like my new sign? Uh, my husband just purchased it for me from Walmart. It was $15.97, I believe, and that was regular price. So maybe you can find it on clearance or something where you are, but I thought that was an awesome deal at regular price even. So, so and if there's any questions about my top that I have here, this is a tested pattern by Selena Baca. It has a kind of a racer back type backing on it, and it's made with um, oh, Red Heart Fashion Soft black and burgundy colors. I'm not sure if it's those are the technical colors for them, but black and burgundy anyway. So if you're interested in that pattern, just uh, let me know down below if you can't find it. It's on Ravelry, Selena Baca, under Selena Baca. So very easy. Uh, under projects for that pattern, if you want to know if you found the right pattern, just look under projects and you'll probably see this bug modeling that. So I have some photos because I always, whenever I test a pattern, I put it in their projects, under their projects, so people can see what they look like on somebody and do a little fashion show kind of thing for them. So anyway, welcome to the weekly yarn basket. I pick out uh, some yarns from around my yarn room, different sizes, different brands, and some different colors. And I just show them to you and t tell you about the yardage, the material it's made out of, the color that it's called, and um, the squishy factor and how soft it is and all that good jazz. So let's get right into it. I haven't yet, this is my third weekly yarn basket, and I haven't yet did a number seven yarn. So today I thought I would start with a number seven yarn. It's not, I'm not a big fan of number seven not yarn. Normally what I normally do, like I did that big, um, what was that by MJ's Off the Hook Designs, the big owl blanket that was going around a few years back. I normally would take a number five yarn and just multiply, hold three together to equal a number seven. Or you could use like, I think it was a number seven yarn as a single strand. So my first one, which is my only one for number seven, is called Bernat Mega Bulky. It's got some sparkle in there. Yep, some pretty sparkle. You'll notice I had a friend message me saying that my lighting is in and out. And that is only to do with, it has nothing to do with my lighting. It's actually to do with the focus on the camera as I hide my face and show you the yarn. So you'll notice it goes, the background will kind of be blurried and a little bit darker. When I take that away, it kind of becomes whoop, more light. So that's kind of the reason you'll see the color difference, but it's really bright. I find my videos very bright all the time, so it shouldn't be a problem. So again, this is the number seven. It's the colorway in DK Gray Sparkles. So it looks black actually to me, but it's like a really, really deep, deep, deep gray, I guess. This is 99% acrylic and 1% metallic. And of course you can see the sparkle. So that's the 1% of metallic in there. A, it is made in Turkey and uh, it has only 36 yards, 33 meters. It is 5.8 ounces or 165 grams. Let's see the washing instructions. Hand wash, lay fat flat to dry. Easy enough. And 19 millimeter knitting needles or 19 millimeter crochet hook. That's a fair size. Works up really fast because it's number seven, but if you'll see this, it has a cowl and it takes actually three balls. So it's kind of a, takes a lot to make anything, but there it takes three balls just to make that pattern that's on the label. Just to show you that how little bit of yardage there is. You might be able to maybe make a headband with a, with one ball. I'm not sure. I haven't used it for that. I've I've made a cowl, a hooded cowl with this before and it took six skeins, but this was over $10 to buy. So it was pretty costly. So, but it was luscious. Like it's so soft. So it's like, oh my goodness, it's like a cloud. And it's so, look, it's so squishy. 
it's a beautiful yarn so it's well worth it if you want something that is beautiful feels beautiful on and you like to make it really quick number seven yarns the way to go and again that's called dark gray sparkle if you liked the color i only have the one colorway because i pulled out a couple of different colorways to show you maybe two different colors of any that i have a different colorway of but because this is so expensive i only purchased three of this colorway because i'm going to do a project such as a cowl again or something but i I didn't want to buy two or three different colors. I just wanted to have the one color because it would be quite, quite costly. So my next numbered yarn is number five. And I had told you guys about doing a pattern. I'm making up a pattern for a hooded, no, pocket shawl. That's what it is, a pocket shawl. And so my first one that I did up, I showed you I was making it with the Barcelona yarn. Well, the one I'm going to film, when I go to film to teach you how to do it, I wanted a more neutral tone so that I can, sh it shows well on the video. So I chose Bernat Wavelength. I don't know if you've ever seen this type of yarn. It has a slight ombre kind of going. Like, it'll be very slight. This colorway is very slight. They have other colorways that'll be more noticeable, but I didn't want that for filming so this will be more of a neutral and I find neutral color things just people gravitate towards them so I'd have no problem if I sold it or if I gave it away as a gift people will probably like like it anyway it'll match whatever they have they this is a number five bulky the colorway is called snowflake obsidian it is machine washable and dryable 100% acrylic. It's soft for just acrylic and not premium acrylic. I'm actually surprised it's not premium acrylic because it's kind of soft. It's not the softest of soft, but it's not scratchy at all. Like I find this just a nice soft yarn. Just middle of the road. Um, you use six millimeter knitting needles or six millimeter crochet hook. It has 223 yards or 204 meters. It's five ounces or 140 grams. This is a Yarn Inspirations Bernat, and it is made in, <laughs> some of these are tricky to find where they're made. Made in India, this one. Yeah, this one's made in India. Snowflake Obsidian, show you once more. Just to make sure that you got to see the colors in it, yeah. Kind of twisted with two different colors in it. Really beautiful yarn. I'm anxious to use that. My next number five is Loops and Thread Links, it's called. It's a chain spun yarn, as you can see. Okay, it's a number five bulky. And what do we find out about this guy? 74% acrylic. 18% wool and 8% polyester and it's soft it's just a little bit softer than the wavelength was this colorway is called rich blue it's made in turkey eight millimeter knitting needles or crochet hook this wants you to hand wash in cold do not bleach dry flat do not iron and do not dry clean this, um, it has on the label, it says that there's a free pattern on the back of this one. And in order to make what they have on this label, it told me earlier, two balls of this makes this cowl. So that's decent. Just two balls makes that cowl. It's like a pretty blue and like, it looks gray to me, but it might be just a little washed gray with a little blue tint in it really pretty and this is the only colorway that i have purchased i only seen actually the one colorway so i'm not sure and my number six yarn weights is uh first one is bernat viva 
burgundies, uh, kind of burgundy-ish with brown. I don't know, that wasn't focusing very well for me. Eight millimeter knitting needles and a crochet hook. So either way, machine washable and dryable. 82% acrylic and 18% nylon. Um, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. 85 yards or 77 meters. So it's kind of short. A made in China. And this colorway is called burgundy. Appropriately so. Hopefully it focuses this time. There we go. And it's uh, pretty so scratchy soft, <laughs> I would say. It's not the softest, but yeah, it's kind of a little on the scratchy side. But I think it would depend on the drape that it had. You could almost hear how kind of scratchy it is. It would be nice as something that's over top of something like if you're wearing a scarf that hangs or something like that. I think that would be appropriate for this. That's Bernat Viva. Number five. My next number five, I actually have two colorways for, oh no, sorry, that was a number six. My next number six has, I have two colorways, which I'm surprised. Um, it's Red Heart Stellar. Red Heart Stellar. So I have this colorway. And I have this colorway. I'm trying to see here to make sure it's focusing on the yarn, not on my face. There we go. Look at that little bit of sparkle. They both have a little bit of gold sparkle in them. This colorway here is called Galaxy. If you like that one, it's like purples and peaches, yellow, that kind of idea. You can see the sparkle in there too. It's just a little bit of glimmer. That's Galaxy, and this one is called Infinity, if you liked this colorway. Now the information on it, 6 millimeter knitting needle, 6.5 crochet hook. Machine wash on cold on the gentle cycle and lay flat to dry. It's 99% acrylic and 1% other fiber. It doesn't say what that other fiber is. So if you're maybe allergic to wool, you might not want to take a chance. I'm not sure if they would have to put wool on the label, considering a lot of people are allergic to wool. It has dye lot numbers, it says. I didn't notice that on any of the other ones that it said that. Um, it's imported by Coats in Mexico. It has a U.S. Um, flag on it, so I'm guessing it's from sold from the U.S., but it doesn't say made in the U.S. No. And where's the yardage on this guy? <laughs> Here we go. 90 yards or 82 meters, 4 ounces or 113 grams. And this is soft. This is comparable to the Light and Lofty, the Red Heart Light and Lofty, or the Loops and Thread, uh, What's that called? I have one here. Country Loom. It's similar to those type yarns. Yeah. Super soft. Beautiful yarn. Would make a nice uh, pillow, blanket, oh, anything. Scarf. Even a sweater, I would think it would make a nice sweater. It would make a really cozy sweater. So for a number four yarn today, one of the first one I have two colorways for is Burn... Bernat Baby Blanket Tiny. I've showed you the regular Bernat Baby Blanket. And this is the Tiny. So this is a number four weight. This colorway is called Clear Sky. And this colorway is called ooh, Dungarees. Here's the two of them together. I think they would look pretty as an afghan together. It's a number four weight, four millimeter knitting needles or crochet hook, machine washable and dryable, 100% polyester, equaling 100% soft and squishy. Um, it has 316 yards or 288 meters. Very nice length on it. 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. 
and this one's called dungarees and they're made in china it's a beautiful yarn if you like burnett blanket you'd love to use this as well i like using this for some amigurumi for babies because it's just so soft and squishy it's luscious the stuffed animals i get using this they and they look lovely too so that's uh, the burnett blanket baby blanket tiny that's a number four weight did i only hmm i guess i only check out one number four weight Let's see, I'll just grab a random number four here. Excuse my reach. I will grab this guy. I'm not sure if I did this one. Make sure it's a number, no, that's a number five. One second. Uh, that's probably, oh, here we go. We'll do this one. Okay, this one is called Heartland. I do believe I have two different colors here. I'm going to grab the other colorway too, so I can show you both of them. There we go. Got both of them here. Heartland. I guess it's just called Heartland. It's a Lion Brand yarn. This colorway is called Everglades. It's beautiful. It's like a green with a tint of yellow in it how beautiful that color is and then this colorway is called Olympic that one's with blue with black kind of twisted in or even a really really deep blue in it they're gorgeous this is lush luxury soft yarn I'm not sure what it's made out of yet but it's beautifully soft I love it 5.5 millimeter knitting needles or six millimeter crochet hook. Make sure to buy enough of the dot lot numbers. Dot, dot, die lot numbers. Whew, my speech today is impaired. <laughs> Five ounces or 142 grams. 251 yards or 230 meters. That's nice for just a medium sized skein. It's not bad at all. It is made in the USA. I didn't realize that. It is um, machine wash, gentle cycle, tumble, dry on low. And I hope I didn't forget anything on there. I don't think I did. Oh, I got it all. So those are the two colors for that guy. Those would look nice together too. Maybe I planned on making something with those, but... I don't remember now. So my number three yarns. First one is uh, Mandela. Well, actually I've got two. I grabbed the Mandela, regular Mandela and Mandela Baby. They're both similar. They're both number threes, both made by the same company, Lion Brand. Um, I just wanted to show the co different colorways is what I was trying. This one's called Gnome. And it looks like a rainbow the different colors in that guy and this one is called unicorn cloud the different colors in there right pretty now i'm not sure if they're going to be because they're a little bit different of a brand they might have a different yardage on them nope okay they're exactly the same so i will just tell you the information for both of them but they're both so Mandela Baby or regular Mandela, they're both number three. And here's their information. 5.3 ounces or 150 grams, 590 yards or 540 meters. Machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic. 3.75 knitting needles or five millimeter crochet hook. And they've some, had some beautiful colors in this. The baby one and, and the regular one. So the next one is a number three again. And it's Burnett Baby Stripes. So I grabbed two different colorways to show you. So the brown one is called Sand Pebbles Stripes. 
and the baby baby colors are called spring blossoms stripes. So that's that one. So we've got machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic, 4.2 ounces or 120 grams, 287 yards or 600 and no, sorry, 262 meters. It is, um, the Yarnspirations, I don't see where it says it's made. Oh, made in India. Yep, made in India, and it's very soft. Extremely soft. I didn't see what it was made out of, did I? Oh, acrylic. It's softer than just acrylic, though. Like, I'm surprised. It feels like, feels like Karen's simply soft. That's how soft this is. Really soft. Lovely yarn. Now for my number two yarns. I first one is called King Cold Drifter. This is uh, in the colorway shade, it's called. And it's 25% cotton, 6% wool, and 69% of premium acrylic. It is 329 yards or 300 meters. It's 100 grams. It doesn't tell me in ounces. I think uh, that's 3.5 ounces, I believe. Four millimeter knitting needles. It doesn't show me crochet hook, so we'll go with whatever the gauge is for you, but could be four millimeter crochet hook as well. It is made in Turkey. And it's a beautiful, beautiful soft yarn. It's just love. I love King Cole brand. It's a beautiful type yarn. It's kind of like washed, like jeans. Yeah, that'll make a beautiful item. Next one is called Peyton's Lace with Sequins. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. See the sparkle? It has sequins in it. You can sort of, when I turn it, See the sequence flashing to you there. It's number two weight, 3.5 knitting needles or crochet hook, 314 meters or 344 yards, machine washable, but lay flat to dry. It is called Sapphire, the color is Sapphire, 60%, 68% acrylic, 14% polyester, 9% mohair and 9% wool. It's made in Turkey. I believe I said that. No, I didn't. It's made in Turkey. And this is soft. Nice and soft. I guess with that mixture of the different materials in it. Beautiful soft. Oh, I like it. This is the only colorway I have, though. Okay. And last, but certainly not least, is my number one yarns. First one I'll show you is Lion Brand Yarns. It's called Sockies. Blues, grays, oranges, or rust, rusty color. The colorway is called Taffy. Maybe it's called Taffy Tire. I don't know. It says Taffy, then Tire underneath. And it's a number one, super fine, 2.75 millimeter knitting needles or 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. Machine washable and dryable. Make sure to buy enough of the dot light, dye lot numbers. 75% um, wool, 25% nylon. A little bit on the scratchy side, I'll be honest. But if you're making these for socks, perfect. You don't have to use sock yarn for socks. I have yet to do so. I, I've i worn, like, did little cardigans, uh, shawls, a lot of different things using number one yarn that are not sock related. So that's just up to you. This is 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, 438 yards or 400 meters. If they finish it with aloe vera, so it must be a treatment that they use. 
Um, where is it made now? Made in Italy. Hmm. Yeah, made in Italy. I like those colors. I believe these are so, this yardage, so you can make one full pair of socks with just this ball. And lastly, Red Heart, it's a wrap. I got this one actually it was 10.97 on for five bucks clearance at walmart they made our walmart yarn section like from two aisles down to half an aisle it's crazy how much they condensed it down and so once they did that they marked down a whole bunch of like good products that you would want so cars had to get a cartload of stuff so i think i made two trips because they just slowly kept marking them down so I just kept going back and grabbing and I always want to try this, but I didn't want to spend 11 bucks plus taxes. So it was almost 13 bucks with tax. So this colorway, if you're interested, is called Drama. It's purples and pinks and peach, dark peach color. Number one, super fine. Machine wash and warm, cold or cold on a gentle cycle. Dry flat, do not bleach or iron, do not dry clean either. 3.25 crochet hook usually they put the knitting needle first or 2.75 knitting needles buy not buy enough for your dye lot number so for your project that you need it's 50 percent cotton and 50 percent acrylic it has a whopping 1100 yards or 1006 meters it's seven ounces or 200 grams and if you go to redheart.com, there's lots of different uh, project ideas. And I can't tell you where it's made unless this, these labels come off for this sale label here. Let's see if I can get them off. Made in China. So I was able to get, get that off. So again, this colorway, if you're interested, is called Drama. Yeah, it's very pretty. Can't wait to use that. It's a nice... Nice, nice thin yarn. Let's see how thin that is. Number one. Yeah, pretty, pretty yarn. So that's all my yarn today. If you've used some of this in certain projects, love to hear about it. Also, I'd love to see pictures. You can join my group, Naughty Yarnies, on Facebook. Spelt the exact same way as the YouTube channel. And you could share away all projects on there and I'll post when I have a new video. I'll share it to that there so you'll get a heads up so you could click on over to YouTube and watch me. And yeah, I'd like to have the back and forth. And on YouTube comments, you could just comment. You can't show pictures. So that's a great space to go and be able to share, share your projects with me to show me what you've made or me show you what I made. If I have photos, I have a lot of photos of stuff that I've made over the years and gifted so i don't have them access to them anymore so it would be great to be able to show you the photos that i've taken over the years so but happy friday everybody hope you enjoyed this video and again check out the facebook group um and i'm also on instagram naughty yarnies with no space in the middle so you could follow me there i'm trying to get back into that but i'm learning how to use it so give me some time with that one but until next time, everybody, you have a safe and wonderful weekend. And for anybody in the States, happy Independence Day to you all. Our Canada Day was on Wednesday, as you're probably aware. So happy Independence Day and hope you get to watch some fireworks too and maybe have a great barbecue. Take care, everybody.